hello everyone welcome to this my new video series on the topic integrated aeromagnetic and airborne radiometric data for mapping potential mineral zones using the analytical hierarchy process it's a very powerful uh, course that integrates the aeromagnetic data with that of the radiometric one is mainly for surface the other one is for subsurface that is the aeromagnetic a couple of softwares are needed in order to achieve this we have the qgis we have the arcgis we have the google art pro which we need we have the os montage software which we need to incorporate that is this we also need excel to work out with of course you'll see the excel we're going to use it as well as the rock works in order to create the rose diagrams this is a very powerful method we are going to integrate it has a lot of things that we are going to see and this is the methodology of uh, the whole work of course we have the geological unit because we can able to incorporate it if we want to we have the aeromagnetic, these are the procedure, the flow chart from the reduced to the equator. We have the light decomposition and the electrical signal depth. We have the grid and all this alignment. We have other stuff which we look into the reduce. Also have the aeromagnetic data, aeromagnetic data where we calculate the potassium thorium ratio. The reduced to the equator, we have the analytical signal. We combine these two in order to get the, uh, through the analytical process in GIS and also inside the same GIS we use the weighted overlay analysis to come up with the goal mineralization potential map so this is a similar approach in which we are going to use in doing this work we will follow the same pattern of actually come up with our own even though there will be some little modifications here, but what is important is the method in which to integrate this and this to come up with the mineral potential map. And that is what we are actually interested about and how that is done. So that we have something like this. This is what we want to come up with. We have some mining site, which we'll see. And this red means it's actually high, the moderate, and the very low, so that we see that all these small many sites and area that have high potentials. So other areas like this, these areas have been delineated to have a high potential, especially areas in the in the northwest side have the high potential, the central part, and the low potential around this northern part here, as you can see. So we have all these ones achieved, a couple of softwares are actually needed uh, in order to achieve. These are the couple of maps. We have the potassium thorium ratio, the classifier, the linear density, the lineament, the rose diagrams, the mineralization potentials. We have the reduced to the equator, TMI, the tinary maps. So many other ones, the study area of which we have. It's a very powerful course that you are willing to learn a lot and all this how it is produced if we go back this is analytical uh, an analysis folders all the result of the radiometrics you can see all how it is done and how we do the aeromagnetic you can see everything then also we look into the raster images as you can see them and then i think we have uh, the maps we have many maps under the aeromagnetics. If we go under the radiometrics, we also have some maps, which can see how all these are produced and how we use so many other things. That we have uh, these are part of the notes. We have the mineral output zones and the rest. This will give us the area of each of those zones with the limited shape files that are going to be created in this work. All the shape files that we need. These are our images folder that we have just used before. And that's what is why and this is what we are going to use for this course our course is going to modify which we have modified this is what actually we are going to use in our work i've modified it a little bit 
Ati RTE, then this will give us the linear mean density. They will come back with the analytical signal. So we are going to integrate these three linear mean density, analytical signal, and the potassium thorium map to integrate to come with a mineral potential map. And that is what we are going to be doing. I modified that one a little bit, but it's almost the same procedure of how we are going to achieve this. If we go back to the note, uh, which I open here. You can see this is the previous work. Why do we do this work? And this is actually what happens. It actually environmental degradation, a case study of framing goal area around this area. So by going over previous work, what they have done, there's always goal in those areas. Case of framing goal mineral, mineralized area, there's only a mineralized area. So the work is to use how we can incorporate both the two methods to do this is as you can see this is the mining site they have this is dead between eight degrees to around this 11 degrees to somewhere there what i'm interested in is i want to know where those mining sites are these are some of the uh rocks specimen in the areas it's more of experimental to know the the health hazard involving with those mining sites if you can read the papers is there then this is some of the extraction of gold rice zones. This is the longitude and latitude in which we need for the mining site. You can see them, this is abandoned mining site. This is currently working. So this was what we need to use a work. We need to copy this and then we use that in our work as a point of validation. So that we already have a mining site on ground. So we need to incorporate all this into our work. Then another one that we also need is this one also that is to so that we have two mineralized area this part and another part and that is all it we need to know about this work work has been done in the area about the work is of experimental nature to do about the environmental degradation the volume of the gold mining sites of course it affects the areas of career the papers and the pollution so they say the treatment of surface and groundwater prior to consumption will go a long way in safeguarding the health of people around the area. So there is gold mineralized areas. So our own is to use our way to map those areas that have not been untapped, the areas of high potential of gold. And that is what we are going to do. That, that is the reason why we are actually doing this whole thing. Already We already have a kind of uh, point for a reference. Yes, there is a need to look into this and able to map other vehicles. Maybe if this area maybe is have a lot of pollution, they will be able to look for other areas where miners can be able to move to. Uh, that is it. So the model of the work, we have to look at other people. How do they integrate the work? And this is a paper, a solid mineral evaluation using integrated aeromagnetic and radiometric data. It's a published work. I model this work to see this is similar to what they have done, similar to our work. We we'll do almost the same but different data analysis. We integrate aeromagnetic and radiomatics, as you can see. Similar thing what we are going to get, the EULA, the, the rose diagrams, this is what linear dimensions of the areas, how all these are produced, then the final result is the this is the ternary map of the areas and then there is their own work let me see this is the mineral potential areas this is what they did in the work as you can see this is another work where they able to integrate so this will tell you the methodology you need to follow in how to integrate so we are going to follow the same methodology to achieve these things so the areas with uh, green and low and red like this, I say they use, they have about so many mining sites for their validation and many of them fall across a very high place. So other places like this, 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 this are delineated zones. They are yet untapped areas, there are other places. There. So those mining sites is for what normally used for your validation too. So this is what actually we are going to do in the work. We are going to model a work like this. Then we use this one as our previous works and that is what for you to look into and then how to do any work you look at the previous work as it's been done then look for other people who have done those areas of uh, related topics and see which methodology do you have to apply the methodology you need to apply then that's how i came up with this my own methodology
that is this one follow up from that paper i was able to come up with this is what actually they did so all, all this one i put into and that is what is all this course is all about there are going to be a lot of series of videos in which we are going to start doing all the work so welcome if this is your course to do it let me make sure that you watch the video from all the videos from the beginning to the end is full details if you have any questions any comment please you can drop it there so that i can respond but take your time we will go to data i'm going to see how everything is done see you in the next part